Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to take what we learned about bubble letters and block letters and we are going to create representational letters. So this is where you take a letter and you design it and you style it in a way that it looks like the word that you're showing. So here I have the word forest and I designed each letter to look like a tree so it looks like a forest. And over here I have a book. This is a lettering book that I have and this is the representational page and I like this because it has a couple of really good examples like for zap they made it look like electricity and for haircuts they made it look like it was hair being cut or for fresh they have lots of fresh things like flowers and leaves and for salad I really like this one because I think it's super clever or lost that's a really interesting one too so what I'm going to do is you're going to watch me in fast forward draw a word. Let me think. I haven't thought of one ahead of time. Maybe I'll do for it forest again and you can just see how I did that. So the way I do it first is I draw it in pencil. I do either the block letters or bubble letters, whichever you're more comfortable with. I do that in pencil and then I go over it with my idea for how I'm going to turn those letters into something that represents it. So you can choose any word. You can do, I'm just looking around the room right now, computer mouse and try and make them look like, I don't know, a computer cord and a mouse or the word paint and make them look like paint splotches or literally just look around the room that you're in, find an object and think, how could I make letters represent that object? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and redo this one right here so you can see how I did it. So first, I'm drawing it with pencil. I'm doing block letters because that's what I'm comfortable with. Now I'm going back and adding the details for the tree on top of the block letters using my block letters as a guideline. The O was pretty difficult for me to come up with an idea, but eventually I came up with an idea. If you need to message me, if you're like, hey, I'm doing the word forest and I have this letter and I can't figure it out, do you have an idea? Go ahead, message me. Or ask your family. Sometimes asking non-artists is the best way to come up with extra ideas. I was pretty proud with how the E turned out because I struggled with how to get that bottom leg of the E. And then the T was super easy. Now I'm going over it with something darker. I'm using marker because that's what I have, but if you want to use colored pencil or just a darker pencil or a ballpoint pen, you can use any of those things. Just something darker so that way when you erase your other pencil, it looks really nice. I ended up having a lot of fun with this assignment and I ended up coloring it in and just playing with it even after I was done with the recording just because I was having fun. And that's okay. It's fine to push your artwork past the rules of the assignment. Have fun with your stuff. This is the time where fun is needed. So every letter requires its own creative solution. This isn't something where like it, it might work really, really well, like T, that worked out super easy. But for O and S, it took me a while to come up with a really creative solution to make a tree look like an S or make a tree look like an O. So whatever word you choose and whatever style you choose, just make sure that you have your creative hat on as tightly as possible because some letters are going to be easy and some letters are going to be hard, but don't give up. Just think creatively and try your hardest. And if you need to message me to ask for help, to phone a friend, ask me, ask for help. Also something else that I did that you can add if you want to. Yesterday we learned how to do a drop shadow. So if you want to add a drop shadow to yours, you can. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now just because I think it makes everything look just a little bit more cool. So I'm going to add this drop shadow and y'all, while I'm doing this, y'all go make yours. Have a good day.